Alhoa, Pauna Kimsara here and with the second video on Ruby. And it is all about simple input and output. How to take the input from user, how to produce an output to the user. So, uh, simple input and output. So, very first we'll concentrate on uh, how to give an output on a screen when you want to print some statement, want to print some uh, values to the user. So here the method used for printing anything on your screen is a put and method. And it is used to display the output on the screen. And here the operands for put and method is always a string. Here S indicate a string. So whatever you are going to print, uh, Ruby considered it in a string form. So here to display a variable, when you want to display a variable, you have to use a symbol like hash, curly bracket, here the name of variable and again using a curly bracket. So here I have given one example for you. Like here variable is roll number and you have given a value as one. And you want to print the value of this variable in your uh, screen. So here we are using a method as a protest enclosed in a double quote whatever the message you want to print like my roll number is and you want to print the value of this roll number one and is it as it is stored in a variable roll number so we are using a roll number variable but it is going to be enclosed in a hash and curly bracket so this is how you can uh, give the output to the user uh, string as well as variable now, variable can have any kind of value like float, array, or string, integer. So, any kind of variable you can just put the value by using this hash and curly bracket symbol. Now, next is a, when you want to take some input from user. So, whenever you want to take an input from user, the method here is a get s method. Like put s is for printing, get s is to take an input from user. Again, here S indicate whatever the input uh, user is going to give, it will consider it as by default in a string. So if user is giving a uh, input in the form of either integer or a float or any other thing, so you have to convert that value from string to the integer. So for that, they have a uh, two different methods. Very first is a get S dot to underscore i so it will take a input as a integer value so here i indicate integer and second is a get s dot to underscore f so here f is nothing but a f indicate the floating point value so here suppose you have given a message as put s enter your age and you want to take a value of age from user that is in a part in the form of integer. So you will use here get s dot to underscore i method. So whatever the value user has given, it will consider it in the form of integer. And we have to store that value in a variable. So just uh, use the variable name equal to this value. So here your uh, value for that uh, Whatever the user has given will be stored in a uh, variable. Now, in the next video, we'll see the control statements, uh, different control statements, iterative statements available in a Ruby. Thank you so much for watching the video.